the idea behind Juul, you know, it's an e-cigarette uh, delivery device, and it's meant, or what we thought it was meant to do, was to keep people from smoking cigarettes. Um, there's a vape cartridge that goes into a, a battery device that heats up the coil, and essentially you, you are led to believe that you're inhaling vapor uh, instead of cigarette smoke. So Juul is a company that's kind of taken the market by storm. Today they have about 70% of the e-cig market in America, and I believe even worldwide. I mean, and, you see them uh, everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. So, um, but there's some downsides to this that's starting to rear its ugly head, and it's following the similar path that Big Tobacco followed. It's a recipe for disaster. It's history repeating itself. And as more and more in, uh, information comes to light, it's, it's, we're trying to see the same players in the game, the same tactics that was used by Big Tobacco uh, several years ago that our grandparents got hooked on. And uh, it's a whole other generation that's you know, getting involved with these. Yeah, so I mean, how dangerous can this thing be? I mean, we're seeing, and we've seen a couple of things in the news about how you know, it's catching fire in people's pockets, or it's catching, you know, it's catching fire and are blowing up in somebody's face. But there's way more to it than all that. Yeah, that's a totally separate issue. Of course, we're we're in taking investigating those cases too with these batteries that are exploding on these uh, vape devices. But totally separate. That's a totally separate issue. The vape, the jewel it's devices so much more are. Than that, yeah. The vape devices are very dangerous because basically your kids are inhaling chemicals. It's not a vapor. It's not like it's water vapor. It's it's nicotine. It's not about vaping. It's about addiction to nicotine. 